Hello, this is Daniel Mark, and today I will be doing a, a review on the on the commercial, the advertisement that came out for Amazing Spider-Man number two. Yes, yeah, so we finally got the advertisement. Yeah, um, I did a prediction video for like what like what I would what, what I would like to see type of video. Um, going, you know. Um, what, where, like, who the villain should be for, for the, for Amazing Spider-Man. Um, originally I wanted Carnage, specifically Maximum Carnage storyline. Um, yeah, because that, um, uh, originally that's what they were gonna do with, you know, Spider-Man 4, you know, with Tony Maguire. But, you know, things for a he had Amazing Spider-Man, which was a pretty good movie, all, all on of its own. And, yeah. But I originally wanted to see Carnage. Now looking from the commercial, um, I will put the link to the commercial down below. And yeah, now looking from the commercial, um, it, I don't. It doesn't seem like they're gonna go that way. I mean, it seems more like they're gonna go. With, it's oh, eight o'clock. Sorry, that's my that's my um, what you call it? The clock. You know, it says the time. Whatever. Um, so for the uh, seemingly from the commercial, it seems like the villains are gonna have seems to be Rhino. Electro and maybe Green Goblin, Green Goblin, New Goblin, most likely Green Goblin because he was first. And it seems um, seems like that because they have um Harry Osborn in a commercial, um, and then Jamie Foxx is playing Electro, it's, and yeah, and then you have Rhino. We have like a quick scene with Rhino, and it kind of. And his suit, um, if you guys know what his suit looks like, it looks like a like a leather rhino on top of him, basically. But it seems more in this movie, um, they're gonna go with like an electronic rhino, um, disguise costume, like the disguise or the costume seems to be like a giant robot. So yeah, I mean the commercial seems pretty cool. Um, the one thing I don't like about it, just straight up from the commercial, is that there seems to be way too much CGI. Now I guess you have to have CGI to make Electro and his electro, you know, his electro votes or whatever you want to call it. Um, Rhino is attached. You have to make him a, some a part CGI, but just seeing like the whole thing is filled with CGI. Even Spider Man CGI. I mean, I understand you have to have like the webs CGI. Maybe I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure you should at least have the web CGI. But it seems like the, even the parts that don't need to be CGI. Like if Spider Man's just standing like right there or sitting down, um, it just seems like that's how CGI in my opinion. So the CGI direction, I don't really co completely like it. Um, in my opinion, um, the only care, the only person I know, um, from from what I've seen that's confirmed to actually be in the movie out of Rhino, Harry Osborn, and Electro, um, is Jamie Fox is gonna be playing Electro. That's um, uh, that's the only one they've. Somewhat confirmed. I don't know the name of the other two actors. We really Rhino. Um, we he we had quick clips. We saw maybe half his face and then the mask going down. So I I couldn't get a good look at him. Harry um Harry Osborn is like like maybe in half the commercial, and yeah, and it's also interesting. Um Harry Osborn makes you know Electro or as it seems for a movie, and he he basically wants to make like this type of new superhuman. And it's kind of interesting the direction. I'm not completely sure which storyline that's from, or if they mixed a bunch of storylines or they just made up a completely new one. Can't recall it right off the top of my head. And yeah, and then you saw a quick scene or two, one or two quick scenes where Peter's talking to Aunt May, and she says this weird quote, and then the scene that follows up ma makes a quote seem more sense, and then gives another dimension to this movie. Which I think I re um, I would really like. Um, she says the um lying hurts people. No, lying ha ha no, lying has consequences. Then you cut to this next scene, and during that scene, it says, but the truth also has consequences. In that other scene, you see a video of him, not Harry's, Peter's father. He's like Harry, and and I'm, why do I keep thinking Harry? It's like Peter. I need to tell you something. It's like a pre-recorded type of thing, and it's kind of interesting. And you see, like almost from the way they put it, it seems like this 
hideout. It's like underneath um either Aunt May's house or um the Aunt May's house, um uh, Oscorp Industries below Oscorp, um uh, the, below the Osborne house or be, be I mean below Osborne house or below the house um Peter originally used to live with his, with his parents just from the way the commercial looks like and then it's like in a videotape also with um Peter's father um he's talking about how the Osborns want to like they they took basically took his idea to make superhumans but something happened wrong you know it didn't it didn't seem completely explained which I think makes sense considering it is commercial so yeah I mean it looks pretty cool I don't like the that there's it seems they're using too much CGI I mean I understand for Jamie Foxx and he since he's a left Joe you know he need, he needs to use the stone balls um the makeup maybe you know make, make him blue but also it's kind of funny I mean it kind of seems like they're also using CGI on Jamie Foxx to be a common electro like the like the like his skin and everything because he's blue in the movie and um, I can't remember what color he was in the comics but I'm pretty sure he was also blue and it's funny he looks like a giant like a giant overgrown smurf with tiny eyes I mean that's what I mean there, I mean I watched him and then I saw this comment below it's like it looks like a smurf with tiny smurf with tiny eyes and there's like 60 50 people agreeing with that and I'm like agree because it's true, he looks like a smurf with tiny eyes. Or a giant smurf, whatever. Um, so it's kind of funny, um, yeah. The CGI, I'm, it's kind of edgy, it's kind of, uh, like, I don't know, as long as they don't use too much CGI, I'm pretty sure they should be good. Um, also there seems to be one more villain. I want to say Bullseye, but I'm pretty sure it's not Bullseye, just from the commercial. Uh, there's this one guy shooting at, at, uh, uh, Spider Man, because he's in disguise, right? So he's shooting, and uh, either, and me, that fit into either one or two people, some random ass thug, or it seems to be Bullseye, because cause it seems the direction the bullets is going, because he's using a machine gun, seem way too precise. Um, you know, it seems like they're, I mean, obviously, he's, he's meaning to hit Spidey, but it seems way too precise, you know, for just some random person to, you know, like or even a sniper can't hit, maybe in, actually maybe they could but I think the only person that could be to have that much, to much accuracy would either be bold or someone that's just trained with a gun. Period. So yeah, I will put a link to the description. I mean, not, not the description, the link below. Um, yeah, t um, comment below on what you thought of of this video and the commercial, and you know, tell me how pumped you are to see the Amazing Spider-Man number two. And yeah, and yeah, um, sub subscribe if you're new around here, you know, around my channel. I do have other videos on Walking Dead, I do have other movie reviews, I do have some comic reviews, you know, in that, in that sort of stuff. Um, you know, share on Instagram, by MySpace, Twitter, Facebook. Um, not, not just this video, but also the commercial, so you know, get other people pumped. And yeah, so yeah, this is Daniel, not Daniel, the. This is Daniel Morris signing off.